Hello, and a brief presentation to the integration of Microsoft SharePoint, TFS, HP Quality Center, and Atlassian Jira using Covier Omnibus integration platform. Now let's discuss about the demonstration flow today. In this particular case, we have got four different tools. The first one, Microsoft SharePoint, is used by the whole enterprise to submit their requirement request, to submit their bugs, defects, as well as queries. The development team uses Visual Studio for coding, as well as TFS for source code management. And they also use Jira for bug cracking. The testing team uses Quality Center for test case management. Also, they use Quality Center to generate defects on testing. Now let's look at the demonstration flow. First, a new requirement is added in SharePoint by some end user. That requirement is replicated automatically by Omnibus to TFS, Quality Center, and Jira. The developers create source code and link it to the requirement in TFS. The testers in Quality Center create a new test case and links it to the requirement using traceability relation. On testing the test case, it fails. A new defect is created and that defect is linked to the test case. By Omnibus, automatically both the test case and the defect are replicated from Quality Center to SharePoint and Jira. But not just the test case and the defect, but their relationship as well. Now the developer fixes that defect in Visual Studio, and also they change the status of the defect in Jira to fixed. The status of that particular defect is now synchronized back to SharePoint. All data and relations are synchronized here by Omnibus in real time. I strongly recommend you to view the introduction to Omnibus integration platform. This will tell you how Omnibus actually achieves all these different integration and all the different aspects, all the different uh, functionalities Omnibus has to offer to you. Okay, so let's start with the SharePoint. Uh, we are in the requirement list of the SharePoint and we'll create a new requirement item. Let's call this requirement as requirement for demo from SharePoint. There are other attributes here which uh, we are not going to use right now, but we'll see later that how these attributes are used. Let's put a description here called the description for the requirement in SharePoint. And here is our requirement created. Now let's uh, check it out in other tools and see if this requirement is replicated in those tools. Let's first go to Quality Center. In Quality Center, as we know, that there are a number of different objects, requirements, test plan, test resources, test lab, defects, etc. So Covier Omnibus, when it integrates with Quality Center, it actually synchronizes for all the different objects which are available in Quality Center. So we are looking at the requirements list here, so let's refresh it. And here is our requirement, the requirement we have just created in SharePoint is replicated to Quality Center. Now let's look at the same requirement in Jira. 
So here we are in the issues list and the issue can be of uh, different types in JIRA and one of the types is requirement. So let's just refresh this particular list here for all records. And here is our requirement which has been created in SharePoint now replicated to JIRA. And finally let's look at the same item in TFS. So let's go to TFS and this is the list of requirements uh, as a work item in TFS and uh, here is a query for showing all the requirements so let me just double click that and that actually refreshes my list of requirements and here is at the top we have our requirement replicated to TFS also. Now what we want to do in TFS is to create our source code and then we will link that source code to this particular requirement. Now let's go to the Solution Explorer here. What we'll do is we'll create a new source code which is a copy of product.cs and we'll do a copy and paste of product.cs and rename it to a new source file name. So let me copy this and we'll paste and create a copy of product.cs. So we'll rename it to, for example, source file for demo in Visual Studio. Okay? So this is our new source file. This is the one. Right? And what we'll do, we'll check in this one. And while we are doing the check in, we will also link our work item, which is the requirement here, to this particular file. So let me just do the check in. So now my file is checked in as it is shown by this lock icon here. And if I look at the uh, view history it will actually show me that this is now linked uh, checked in with a chain set number 102 if what we have just done is that we have created a new source code file we checked it in and while checking in we have linked it to the replicated requirement from SharePoint so we are done with TFS for the time being so let's now go to quality center. So in quality center as we have already seen the requirement is replicated. So what we will do we'll go to the test plan and we will create a new test case to test this particular requirement. So let me create a new test case here called the test case for demo from QC. So here is the test case for demo from QC, the one we have just created, and we will link it to our requirement using the traceability relation. So here is the list of requirements, and here is our requirement. Let me just create that link. So now my test case is linked with the replicated requirement from SharePoint. So the next thing I'd like to do is to actually run this test case and see if the test case runs or not. So let's go to the test lab and I'll create a new test set here. That's the, that's the requirement for QC to test a test case. So I'll create a new test case here and we'll call it a test set for demo in QC and we will select our newly created test case which is called the test case for demo from QC right and put it as part of this test set now we are ready to test this one this test case so to do that we will do the run and here you see the status will say that this actually has failed okay and we will end run 
that shows our test case has failed. And we need to actually now create a defect and link it to test case as part of this testing so that that defect can be fixed by the developer in TFS. So what we'll do, we'll open this up and then we will create a defect and link it to this one. So we are creating a new defect here and we'll call it defect for demo in QC. Okay, and we'll put a severity here as high and that's it. And it already shows that this is linked with our test case. So let me submit that. So defect number 315 I just created and also linked to my test case here. So let me close that one. So what we did in QC is that once we have seen our requirement from SharePoint is replicated, we created a new test case and linked it to the requirement as well as we have created uh, a new test set and put that test case in the test set. Then we actually run the test case and failed it, which is shown here. And then after the failure, we have created a new defect and linked it to the test case. So the test case is now actually linked to both the requirement as well as the defect. So we are done as far as QC is concerned. Now we can go to Jira. In Jira, we have already seen the requirement is replicated from SharePoint. Now let's refresh this list and see what happens to the test case and the defect which have been created in QC. So as you can see, the test case from QC is all already replicated here and the defect has not come yet, but let me try once again. Now the defect is also replicated from QC. So we have all requirement, test case and defect replicated from SharePoint and QC. Now let me open the requirement and look at the detail of that requirement in Jira. So here is the requirement with its title as well as its description which has been entered in SharePoint and here it actually shows the linking to the test case. The test case which has been actually created in QC and linked to the requirement in QC. Let's, let's go back to our list here and let's look at the test case. Here is the detail of the test case and that test case is actually now linked to both the defect as well as to the requirement. And this linking to both the defect and the requirement has been done in QC. And finally, if we go back to the defect here, we will see that this defect is linked to the test case which has been actually done in QC. So as part of our demo demonstration flow, uh, the developer fixes this particular defect or bug and then it changes the status. So to do that, we'll go and resolve this issue. And the resolution is fixed. Let me s resolve it. And that changes the status to resolved. So as far as Jira is concerned, what we have done is that when we came to Jira, we found that our requirement from SharePoint is already replicated. Also, both the test case and the defect from QC are also replicated. Not only that, the relationship between the requirement and the test case and the test case and the defect are also replicated to Jira. So in Jira, we, we resolve the defect and change the status of this defect to result. Now let's go back to SharePoint. We are in SharePoint now. So let's look at this requirement first. Let me refresh this screen. 
So it shows the same share requirement which has been originally created in this share point is now linked with the test case which actually came from QC. If we go to the test case list here, it shows the test case from QC is also replicated here and this is related to our requirement as well as it is related to the defect which also came from QC. And if we go back to this defect list here, here it shows the defect is now resolved. The status shows it is resolved because we resolved it in JIRA and it is linked to the test case. So the whole cycle is now complete which started from a submission of requirement from SharePoint. From there we went to TFS and linked some source code files to that. From there we went to QC and we linked uh, the test case to the requirement and also we created a defect and linked it to the test case. And those defect and test cases were replicated to both SharePoint and JIRA. At JIRA, we resolved the defect and we came back to SharePoint. We found that the requirement is now linked to the test case as well as the test case is linked to the defect and defect is resolved coming from JIRA. And that concludes this demonstration.